Hey, Jeff Howard here at kiteboarding.com and wingboarding.com. So we just wanted to show this real fast. This is the Ride Engine Vanaka wingboarding harness that they've come up with. Really lightweight, uh, definitely impressed. They, their first version, they've done a great little job on this. So I just wanna show all the little parts about it. Again, it's very lightweight. It's got some ripstop taffeta on the outside and the inside. A um, little bit of neoprene around the outside. And I want to talk about it, how their system is set up. So with the, let's say the ozone one that's out right now, it's designed as a base for the harness to slide around you to get your bar out of the way. This one is designed to slide the bar out of the way. And I'll show you that. Here's their hook. It's a very small little sliding hook on the strap. And it's a little bit shorter than some of the standards, which I think is great. I think having these really short would be the best um, because it really doesn't matter. You, you hook the line in, it doesn't need to be sticking a long way out to put a lock tube or anything like a kite. Um, so making that smaller, there is, uh, there is no bump on it like a kite bar. It's just a standard, like a windsurfing type harness hook on there. So I wanna show you. So what they've got, this is a medium, I'm about a, 30 to 32 in that range depends on where it goes around me um, but it's got a neoprene little belt in here so it basically wants to stay put right there and it really didn't want to spin on you um, then you have a strap that goes across and you tension that up and that basically secures the harness from wanting to spin on you at all so it's not designed like the ozone to allow you to quickly slide the harness around so I'm gonna buckle it in. It's got a single large buckle on the side. Once you buckle in, again, you don't wear these real tight. It's not that the, the pull pulls upwards or much at all, if any. Um, but once it hooks in, the benefit that they're trying to design around is that you can move the hook over to the side, but you can see it completely on my side. So if I was laying down, I could still paddle. And if I wanted to, I could slide it to the other side and get it out of my way basically just as well. I mean, the harness will slide a little bit, but they're, they're focusing on the goal of being able to move the bar out of your way when you don't need it and put it back in position when you do need it. The really cool other thing is they've got the leash connection here. So you can connect your leash, your wing leash to either side of the harness. It's got two rings there. But overall, I think they did a great job. These will definitely sell out really quick. Again, this is a medium. You can see the back side, how it fits around your body. It's real basic. Um, it, it's a little bit you know, thicker. It's got some padding to it. I uh, just wanna kind of give all the highlights so if someone's asking about it or curious if it's something they wanna get into. But I will tell you, harnessing changes everything when you get out there. I mean, you want Popeye arms, great. You wanna get into a harness and be able to ride as far as you wanna go, unhook, surf the wave, hook back in, take the load, work your way back up wind. I love it. It's it's one of those things I basically will not be without a harness again. Anyway, uh, again, that's the uh, new wing harness from Ride Engine. If you have any questions about sizing or anything else, don't hesitate to give us a call here. They will go quick. Uh, they've got some of these in and they're being divvied up. We've got some, they'll go. Again, just wanted to show it to you. Uh, between this one and the Ozone is basically the ones that I've seen out there, and they're both really great little harnesses. Anyway, it's Jeff Howard here at kiteboarding.com and wingboarding.com.